Welcome back. Today is a denim day. It's a chance for people to show solidarity for sexual assault survivors just by wearing blue jeans. Denim day dates back to the turn of the century when women in the Italian parliament wore jeans to work as a protest of a Supreme Court decision that reversed a rape conviction ruling. It must have been consensual because jeans can't be taken off easily. Almost half of all women and a quarter of all men in the U.S. have dealt with some form of sexual violence. One local group of po poets hosting a virtual open mic night tonight where survivors can choose to share their stories in a creative fashion if they would like. But everyone is invited to listen. Speaking the unspeakable, we're told not to talk about it. We're told to cover it up. Don't mention it. A lot of people say, no, 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 no. <laughs> this isn't the place. And so we're making it the place. The place is every time, everywhere in spaces where that person feels comfortle. And there's a link to join Poetry 719's open mic night on KOAA.com. It starts at 630. And continuing coverage on Denim Day, a local art exhibit showing the transformation and healing of sexual assault survivors. Our own Ashley Portillo joins us live from the Cottonwood Center for the Arts in the Springs with more about some of the artists and their work, Ashley. Hey Elizabeth, so this exhibit shows that healing and recovery is possible through creativity. There are more than 60 pieces of artwork in this room. More than 40 artists contributed, just showing that they are able to make a positive turn. Sexual assault survivors transforming trauma into works of art. Because art is very transformative for those who have experienced intimate trauma, any kind of trauma actually. In 2008, Joyce Aubrey founded the nonprofit organization Finding Our Voices, which provides monthly art and writing workshops for survivors. So the survivors will give us a statement about what it meant to them to do this piece of art. The artwork is hung in exhibits like this during the month of April. It's also a sexual assault awareness month and the last Wednesday of the month, Denim Day. Denim is a strong and sturdy fabric, really appropriate symbol for the strong and sturdy men and women who come through sexual assault. Denim Day is all about wearing jeans with a purpose and to support sexual assault survivors like Mary Dufresne Chacon. It means a lot to me because I was wearing jeans. Dufresne Chacon has been a part of the organization for seven years and when she first started creating art, everything was coming out dark and black. But now I transformed from darkness to brightness. All my paintings in my house now are bright colors and I love them now. An exhibit featuring survivors words and mending hearts through arts. It transformed me to be happy again okay. or for the first time actually. And you can see there are different kinds of artwork in this exhibit. Some paintings here. We have some photography over on that wall, as well as a few survivor dolls in the other room. So just a lot of artwork to be seen if you do end up coming down to this exhibit. Elizabeth, such a powerful story, Ashley. And we know Denim Day is one day, but this is a year round issue, obviously. And there are monthly workshops for local survivors. Yeah, so that organization, Finding Our Voices, they do host monthly workshops for writing and painting as well. I am told that space for some of those workshops, it is pretty limited right now because of COVID, but you are able to sign up on their website. Of course, we will post all of that information on our website. Another really thing, uh, cool thing that they do during the summer is an annual retreat. So, of course, they are helping hundreds of survivors of sexual assault right here in our community. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Ashley Portillo, News 5.